There's that handsome man of mine putting a, do, uh, a new doorknob on my chicken coop because somebody got locked in our chicken coop. Welcome to Appalachia's homestead. <laughs> Bubba, Joey, Tolly. Shake a shake a shake a. So I'm having to, I'm listing out all of my goats because we're behind a little bit on chores and things that I wanted to get done before winter. And so I'm listing out all of my goats so that when we go up each day this week, we're going to each day do a couple of goats, like to go ahead and do their hooves, look them over. Um, I'm gonna give them a copper bolus, all of that. So I keep a list going because we are catching up on everything since we got sick. So I'm trying to be productive. James, who else is there? Cowboy, <laughs> Slider. Oh, don't forget Show Glue. Don't forget Show Glue. Oh, and BB, little BB Balsam. Mike and Vinny. Mike and Vinny. <laughs> here working the barn in the afternoon. I've gotten down to milking once a day, keeping that calf with its mama, which was not the plan. It's sort of like God said, yep, this is how your life's going to roll here for the next couple of weeks. But she kept her in milk, but kept her in milk, which is a good thing. So she's not dried up. So I'm able to milk once a day, which is about all I can handle at this time which is ideally what most milkmaids want to get down to, is a once a day milking. So that's turning out really, really good for us. It's been kind of tough the last week getting back into the groove of things. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Not too much because I don't want to sound negative or like I'm dwelling, but I will tell you I have gotten, folks, the amount of messages and comments are unbelievable. And a lot of people like to have conversations about what do you think or I have had this or I had it or I'm afraid to get it and tell me your experience. This was my experience. I'm going to tell you right now, if you get COVID um, and I don't want to say necessarily I had a mild case, but I handled it pretty well, but it does take a toll on your body. I've noticed that even though I am about almost two weeks, not even two weeks past where I felt like I was just starting to get better. And I definitely kicked it. But I will tell you, if no one has told you about the post fatigue, there's a little mud for you. Um, you know, that's a very real thing. Uh, this whole issue, um, yes, you're hearing chainsaw. <laughs> um, the thing that you need to know, in my personal opinion, is that it messes with you on every level. It's not just, okay, I feel like I've got the flu, I'm down for a week. My comebacks in a couple of days and, you know, skedaddle. It didn't work that way. It doesn't work that way for a lot of people that I, from what I understand. And so the post fatigue, like you can get up, you can feel really good and get going. And then you just feel like you're going to crash at two o'clock in the afternoon. Never had that issue before in my life other than when I was pregnant. And I'm not pregnant. <laughs> no babies right now. So my point is, is be aware of that, y'all. So even if you get this and you, you kick its tail like, you know, we have, I mean, my husband's down there with a chainsaw right now, okay? He has not had the post fatigue that I have had, which has been a little surprising. Uh, and I'm really fighting to get really out of that. It's getting better, but just know it exists. Especially you ladies that are running the home, running the farm, homeschooling the kids. You busy folks out there, just know it exists. So here's what I want to say to you before I go and help 
put some wood away with James. I did all the barn chores tonight. So, and we're having pork chops for dinner. Pork chop, pork chop, grease, grease. <laughs> so listen, all jokes set aside. I think James is gonna have a similar response uh, like I'm about to tell you. There's a lot of controversy around this sickness. There are individuals that don't think it's real, not real, I mean, you know, whatever. And I'm not going to debate that with you. Just like anybody that doesn't like that I put up a Charlie Brown Christmas tree on my channel, you know, if you don't like Christmas trees, we'll go talk about that on your channel. Don't bring that hot mess to mine. We're trying to make this a happy place, a good place, an educational place, a place where people feel like they're getting truth as far as what do real people think and what are their experiences whether fundamentally you don't agree that's okay but at least i'm speaking what i believe and i will tell you this if you feel you're getting sick or you know somebody that is getting sick even if they do well i've done well go ahead and assume that they're going to have a 30-day setback it's unavoidable because if they've got children, if they work a job, if they milk a cow, you know, especially around the holidays, we're trying to get everything ready for winter. We're still working hard to get everything ready for winter. I think we're going to have a rough winter. That's another video. I think you are going to have a very rough winter. I'm holding out that I'm very wrong on that. So we are working, we're back slung into the saddle uh, and said, put stress aside, it is what it is. We made it another day and we need to work. But I am saying that when people get sick like this, you find out who your friends are. You find out who your family is. You find out the people that are willing to help you. Now, obviously with something, if it's contagious, they can't necessarily come and help you during that, that time period necessarily, but they can drop off things for you. And when you're done, like we are, and we're way past it, you know, we're struck, we're, we're, we're not going to sink. We're swimming really hard. And so all the help and all the comments and the check-ins and the, Hey, I'm going to bring you some Campbell's soup tomorrow. Okay. Do you need some Tylenol? What do you need? <clears throat> Are you taking your temperature? Do you need to go to the doctor? Because I'm telling you folks, this, this thing that we have going on, that a lot of us have dealt with in many different forms can flip on you in a dime. I know of some personal circumstances right now where it flipped on some people very, very quickly. It wasn't a good turnout for them. And before you start to say, well, were they this or were they that? They were both. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. So it's almost like you're the comeback kid after, you know, there's a lot to do. So yeah, I did a fun little Charlie Brown Christmas tree because I love them and they're simple because we're focusing on togetherness. We're focusing on being prepared for winter and we're trying to really keep our minds in the game because right now that's where it needs to be. There's a lot of shenanigans everywhere we go now and there's people that will just say things just to be ugly. We need to be better than that. We need to be helping each other. We need to understand that not all of us think exactly alike, but at the end of the day, are we all breathing okay? Are, do we have something warm to eat? Are we able to walk the driveway and do the things that matter? Um, excuse me, you guys are not supposed to be out. Yes, have y'all not seen the possum? What? Honey, you look good. Yeah. I told him that we had like a post-COVID thing going on. You, we haven't cut your hair yet. No. We, it, it's almost ponytail status. It's almost cousin it status. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got my pieces for my uh, little thing I'm gonna make. You're so cute. Um, okay, so listen here, cousin it. Um, I was telling him that I'd had some fatigue and I was talking about the importance of, of, you know, helping people when they're sick and that this should be taken serious. 
you've just busted out of it. You're you're like ready to run a marathon. Any any advice, real quick, because we all know you're busy and you want your pork chops and get your work done. You have to medicate as quickly as possible. Okay. So when you go to the doctor and they test you and you test positive, you need to be asking for medication because a lot of doctors may not immediately prescribe it. Right, they wait. And, and it's you, critical, in my opinion, to get it early. Yep, 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 yep. So I was just letting them know that, uh, you know, you're in it for a good 30 days. I, I feel like I'm gonna be in it for a, you came out of it a lot quicker. You had it harder, yes. but you came out of quicker. And then I did good and I'm still overall doing good but that I get these waves of fatigue, which I'm not, it was very, it's very upsetting for me because I'm not used to that. I just go, 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 go. And I, I don't think it's just an age thing. I really do think that I'm trying to still physically recoup. Yes. And um, so anyway, okay, we'll let you get back to your work. Where's awesome. Gabriel? Where's Gabriel? I have no idea. All right, well, I, I'm going to go get him. <laughs> We're going to make this look like that Christmas decoration at Lowe's. Ooh, I just kissed a little Christmas tree. <laughs> I just got this. I love it. I have several of these. Don't you love those ceramic trees? My Nana has a beautiful one. Great memories with wonderful family growing up. But listen, I'm going to conclude the video. The boys have gone out to help James. I wanted to catch up with you. Hope you had a blessed Thanksgiving. We did. We're ready for the holidays. Folks, it's going to be a very hard winter, I fear. And I just want you to be positive. I want you to be strong. I want you to know the deal. I want you to be physically fit as possible. This week, I hope to start running just a little bit, just a little bit. I, I don't want to sound like I'm not capable or I'm not able and then I'm just down. It's not true. It's just you have these weird moments. And I think that it's important that we talk about these things. A lot of you have been following me for many, many years and we have conversations, friends and family and all of that. So my point is, is just understand what's going on, understand what's going on with people. Be nice, be kind. It's tough right now for a lot of folks, okay? And I know there's a lot of things going on, but we've got to tr really try to get our game on in terms of our own mental deal and keep it together. Keeping it together is what's gonna help all of us heal, all of us stay strong, all of us try to stay together because we're gonna need that. So stay physically fit as you best as best you can. Walk a little bit, run a little bit, eat good, take good vitamins. And as James told you, and he says it best, if you were to get sick, get on it ASAP. Demand that you are well ASAP, okay? All right, guys, gotta make pork chops. A lot of videos coming up this week because we're back at it. It's gonna be a fun week. We'll see you on the next video.